everyone, welcome back to K Chats. This is Mari, founder of Beauty and Soul. And, and I'm Judy Ju, chef, restaurateur, and TV personality, and K Beauty junkie. And today's episode <laughs> is about tea. <laughs> so, green tea and black tea. So, green tea and black tea are actually from the same plant called Camellia sinensis. So, if you look on the back of skincare products, you'll probably recognize that ingredient. They are from the same plant, but they are harvested in different ways. So black tea is oxidized for longer, so it goes through um, a lot of chemical processes that exposes it to oxygen, um, which is why it looks quite different. And then obviously green tea, the oxidization process is halted. So today we are just gonna make a few different beverages related to green tea and black tea, talk about the benefits both for your body and also for your skin, and also talk through about some products that we have that contain black tea and also green tea. Yeah. So do you want to give a bit of an overview of yeah. why tea is so good? Um, um, well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a tea drinker. I yeah, really do you are. Yeah. I, I don't really drink Love coffee tea. every day. And also we're in England, so this is a, a, a tea, tea drinking <laughs> culture. But um, I don't really drink Western teas. I drink mostly okay. Asian teas, actually, yeah. I, I have to say. And green tea is one of my most favorite things in the world. And um, green tea in particular is so good for you. And you're seeing yeah. it pop up in health food stores, yeah. in supplements and vitamins, and all different types of things like uh, drinks all over the place because it is really, really um, just fortified with tons of things that are really good for you. It's antioxidant, which is why it's used in beauty a lot. Yeah, so anti <laughs> to kind of get a bit technical, contains micronutrients called polyphenols. Now, polyphenols are really strong antioxidants. And what antioxidants do for the skin is they protect against free radicals, yep. which are the bad guys that destroy collagen in your skin. Collagen is good because it keeps the face looking younger and firmer. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be losing collagen on the no. face, no. which is why tea is yeah. so good at being an anti-aging yeah. uh, you know, skin. And it also promotes heart health. It mm. uh, reduces blood pressure. It's also linked to weight loss because it helps you burn calories more efficiently and, and more rapidly. Oh, okay. um, yeah. It's also really good for the brain, it increases brain function and mm. also memory. Um, and also I just find it, it, it tastes good, it's, 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 it's easy to make. Uh, and also there's a, a lot of studies that are linked to helping um, reduce the risk of cancer. Oh, that's really that's interesting. That's yeah. to, to green tea. And also yeah. tea is um, anti-inflammatory and also antimicrobial. So mm -hmm. it's really good at any um, skin irritation, redness, um, there's actually been studies shown that it's quite soothing for skin conditions like dermatitis or rosacea. Um, so yeah, I think having that antimicrobial element, which mm -hmm. basically means that it protects against some of the harmful bacteria, mm -hmm. so it sometimes can be really good for um, acne prone skin types as well. So yeah, good all round basically. <laughs> Inside and, and outside. So yeah. I'm going to make um, two different types of green tea. So you can make green tea from the leaf, um, which we have here. This is. Um, leaf green tea and you make it just like you would any any other tea so with hot water green tea you have to be careful though that you don't want to use water that is too hot because then it burns the leaves so it should oh. be around 80 degrees celsius or 176 degrees fahrenheit oh okay. yeah you can either buy loose teas like this in your own tea bags which which oh, i do and make your own little sachets um i have these special tea cups from korea where the filter is actually built right into the cup. Oh my gosh! Um, so you can just take some um, tea, as you will, depending on how strong you want to make your brew. It's up to you. <laughs> and um, you put some hot water, just like this. And you let it steep. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's up to you also how long and how strong you want to make it. Mm -hmm. We'll set that aside. And then there's also something called matcha which is yeah. Japanese, but obviously, <laughs> um, you know, in, in Korea, we, you know, we, um, we, we, we have a lot of that too, tons, <laughs> and it comes in, in powder form. And so this is the form that you'll usually find it in pills and supplements and everything mm. to, uh, to, to, to take. And so when you make matcha, um, you have to really break up the powder. So okay. you have to use these uh, special whisks like this. So cute. <laughs> They're very cute and some hot water. Just like that, you see that amazing color. Yeah, it's really deep green. Really deep green. And this is in a lot of the masks, right? Yeah. And watch it. And just whisk, 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 whisk. So everything is. I can actually smell it as well. Like so nice. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and you can either um, 
just drink it like like this mm -hmm. before you sun. Yeah. You can see this amazing color. If you can see that. I try and pour some here. Beautiful deep rich green color. Oh wow! Beautiful. Um, it's so warming actually. It is. Feels it's, it's it's really nice, so right? Healthy drinking. It is. It, is, it does. Um, and uh, what I like though is I like to make it an ice cream tea, Ooh. which is really tasty. I'm listening. And so I'm gonna make a little bit more. Whisk it around, just like that. So that just smooths out the powder. Yeah. And I'm gonna pour some over ice. And this is this is the best. I, I mean, who doesn't love ice too? <laughs> and pour it right into my cup. And it's actually really warm today, so this will be perfect. <laughs> pour some of this in. Top, top it all off. A little bit of manuka honey. So manuka <laughs> honey is really good for you. I tend to get um, one with a. Uh, uh, what is it called? The factor over 10. Okay. I'll put in there. Have it dissolve. It's probably easier when it's hot, but that's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get in there. So that one just add a little bit of sweetness. A right? little bit of sweetness. So. And plus a little bit of honey it's is good fine. good for you as well. It's fine. Heard Honey's great for you. Okay. And I like to add just a smidgen, a pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a little bit. It all together. This is my bamboo straw. No single use plastics, please. <laughs> Doubles as a mixer as well. As <laughs> I'm picking a little more ice. And this is something that you can sip on yeah. while you're using your cream tea products. Yeah. Right? <laughs> mm. Interesting with the salt as well. Mm -hmm. It just brings out, I feel like, that green tea flavor. You can oh, put that's one really sugar good. if you want to. Also, that's really nice. Yeah. Mm. Nice. It's really refreshing. Mm. Like I can imagine in the yeah. hot weather like today. Totally. <laughs> it's like really fine. And then uh, this has been sitting. Mm. Okay, so this is the original, just the loose tea. Yeah, this is the uh, the loose tea. These cups are so gorgeous as well with the embed strainer. Let's put that in there. And then that's you. Yeah. <laughs> you can try that one too. This one looks kind of like mellower. Yeah. So there are thousands of different types of tea. Mm, uh, lots really of different nice. types of green tea. You can even get the ones with like the um, we call it popcorn tea, like the my chances and popcorn. Oh, like this. okay. So lots of different types, varieties, roasts, etc. So we have, which is new to Beauty and Soul, um, mm -hmm. the new fundamental range, which is the premium skincare range from Claire's. Ooh. So we obviously Claire's is one of the best sellers on our site. Um, so when they launched their kind of premium. Uh, range. I was super excited. So two products. One is a mist, and one is a watery oil drop. So a very hydrating, brightening serum. The fundamental ample mist contains 82% green tea leaf water, mm. um, but also really nice soothing and also um, hydrating ingredients such as rice, cucumber, and mugwort. Oh, yeah. Mugwort's another tea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we drink that also. Yeah. So mugwort went through a bit of a skin a trend <laughs> as of late in Korea. So yeah. there was kind of many skincare products including mugwort or atomusia I think is the kind of name that you'll probably see on the ingredients packaging. Um, but I, I love a mist. This one is super On the plane, fun. right? Yeah, on, on the, the plane. plane. Like I feel like in the West, mists are becoming more yeah, mist, yeah. Mist, 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 mist. <laughs> amazing. Are becoming more popular, mm -hmm. but really hydrating on the go, and also I think with green tea because it has that caffeine, it's quite revitalizing on the skin as well. So mm -hmm. it feels really refreshing. Like Judy said, on the plane, it's amazing. Just, it's yeah, like an instant humidifier. <laughs> so that is a really great one. And then also containing um, green tea leaf is the watery oil drop. So this is a really hydrating, nourishing serum with the benefits of an oil. Um, but as you can, yeah, once you 
kind of absorb and pad into the skin. It'll, it'll absorb so nicely. It contains ceramides, peptides, super anti-aging, and also um, rice and ferment filtrate. So ah. ferment extracts, which are also very good anti-aging and brightening. So what kind of skin type should you use? So I would say those who have kind of dry combination skin or those who just feel like their skin is a little bit dull and lacking that kind of brightening glow, then this is really good. Or those looking for anti-aging products, this is fantastic, very soothing. Um, all skin types can use this one, um, but I would say it's probably more suited for those who have kind of combination or maybe irritated skin, because obviously we just talked about green tea is really good at soothing uh, the skin as well. It feels really refreshing and revitalizing. So just a really fabulous mist for on the go as well. So wow. those two are, yeah, just really beautiful products. And it doesn't feel oily at all. No. Yeah. And it smells gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah, both of those products. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. So yeah, so that's great. green tea. But now yeah. we're going to move on to black tea. Yeah. So as I mentioned, black tea, goes through uh, the oxidization process for longer. So we have some black tea as well, and we have one product, which is the Hamish Black Tea uh, Mask Pack. Let's see, we get it. There we go. Yeah. So Nice packaging. Yeah, and actually right. the box of this is gorgeous. Actually, yeah. Hamish really nails it with their packaging. Um, but this black tea mask, I personally recommend to use in the morning because of the benefits of black tea. It's very revitalizing on the skin. And the great thing about this, it's a wash off mask that you can literally leave it on for only five, 10 minutes. It's quite cooling on the skin. Yeah. And afterwards, it just really helps to wake me up. And those mornings when I'm just feeling a little bit. Really? A little bit tired. I and never the... use mask packs. Oh, okay, yeah. So this one, the texture of it is quite strange. I'm just making a pot of black tea here. Okay. Just some some hot water. You can use water that's a little bit hotter than green tea, um, okay. but, not, but not too much. You know? So my friend describes this texture, shout out to Sarah Skincare, she's watching this, yeah. as baby food. <laughs> like it looks like a puree, but actually if you smell it, because it oh, contains the so oxidized good. version of green tea, which is black tea, hence the name, it, it smells divine. It, it just has that tea. Yeah scent to it so mm -hmm. it's just really calming but yeah you would literally cleanse your skin and then put a layer of this on um it's not one of those tightening masks it's more kind of nourishing um leave it on for five ten minutes and then wash off and it will just be like a cooling slight yeah it just it really revitalizes the skin a really great pick me up um product to use in the morning what so. is it um what does it do exactly it just so it's <laughs> It can be a soothing mask because it also takes so aloe vera. Yeah, I mean, you can use it in the evening as well. Okay. I just like the feeling of using it in the morning because it is slightly tingling and cooling, refreshing. Mm -hmm. So I personally like to use it in the morning. And also to get the benefits of it, you literally only have to use it for five or 10 minutes. So it's okay. kind of perfect in the morning routine where okay. you know you don't want to put on a sheet mask yeah. for 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll just pop it on and then rinse it off in the shower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, also contains aloe, so it's really good if you've got irritation on your skin. Personally, after regular use, so I probably use this about twice a week. My skin does feel brighter. I have quite dry, sensitive skin, so I can get kind of redness on my cheeks. And like we said, yeah. tea is a great anti-inflammatory so ingredient. So um, yeah, I really, really like this one. So that's oh, we've got our thing. tea. Yeah. Black tea. Do you think? Do you think that should go a little bit longer? But um, Amazing. usually, like how I like to have black tea is I just mm. add a little bit of milk and some sugar or honey. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. And um, you have that like kind of Hong Kong tea. Yeah. Um, which is a little like bit sweet. Oh, like how they have the bubble, bubble milk tea. tea. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's sweet and milky and creamy, which mm. is which is really great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to try this as well. <laughs> we'll make a light cup here. I've got my uh, my filter. And black tea has a lot of antioxidant properties also, mm -hmm. right? It lowers cholesterol, it, it promotes um, gut health also. There's oh, okay. like yeah. microbials or something oh, like that, yeah. that that promotes gut health. And it also is known to reduce blood pressure. Okay. Yeah. And so it's a good little heart. Okay, 
like seems to melt. Ooh, actually there are flavors in there already. Oh really? Yeah. That's because it looks quite light and it hasn't even been sweet thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's, it's like quite strong. It's a little, yeah, no, you can definitely taste it. And would you like honey or no? Straight. I don't have straight actually. Here, you can try that, that's nice. Um, you can definitely can taste the uh, the black tea. You can taste like, like the tail. Oh, it is quite, yeah. Right? Isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's quite light, but depending on your choice of, this is, this is an oolong Chinese, actually Taiwanese black tea. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has the different the taste flavor, to the green tea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can change up your uh, tea routine with all different types of teas from, from, from Asia. Mm. Yeah. I, I felt like this was a really calming episode. Definitely. Just I like know. talking about soothing skincare and just having tea, so it's fabulous for me. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy your tea and uh, smother it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you again soon.